On today's episode of James on IT, we're going to talk about some Windows features you've probably never heard of, such as virtual desktops, emoji picker, and even how to make your computer focus and type for you. Stay tuned. So as I mentioned in the beginning, Windows has a lot of great features that a lot of people don't know about per se because they're kind of just hidden in the background, added just in changelog notes. Let's talk about a few of these today. So first off, did you know that Microsoft Windows had emoji picker? As we look on our Windows desktop here, right on the on-screen keyboards, you could see what keys I'm pressing. That way you could follow along. First off, if you press the Windows and period button, you'll get this little pop-up over here. I need to move this keyboard out of the way now and you can pick different emojis. You can also grab GIFs, emojis, symbols, etc. And they're all sorted here very nicely. This is real handy, like if you're typing something out, let's just, why don't we pick on Notepad and we'll open this up. We'll hit our Windows period, bring up our emojis. If you select these, it'll start typing them out in whatever you're using, whether you're texting someone or in a Word document, or as you can tell, here in Notepad. Another fantastic productivity feature is virtual desktops. But not everyone has multiple monitors, but even if you do, you can take advantage of something called virtual desktops. This button down here where you see these two gray windows, this is your virtual desktop picker. Let's move our keyboard out of the way. We'll select this and you'll see whatever's on a desktop will pop up. So if we open up the store, so now you'll see on desktop one is this. Now if we create a new desktop, we could go in here, open up a different window, and now we're going to have different windows showing up on different screens. This gives us a nice clean window to work in. So you could have your terminal that you're working on over here and then maybe an email or whatever on this other screen. But the best part is how to switch between these. If we bring back our keyboard. If you press Windows and then Tab at the same time, that pulls up that selector. So if we do that Windows Tab, we could switch between. And if you hit Windows Tab again, it'll just keep switching between them. You can also use your arrow keys to switch between windows and your mouse to switch between screens. If you want to close a virtual desktop, just hit the close button and it's gone. And then all the open windows goes back to your remaining open virtual desktops. So it's a great way to help you organize your work. Now, Task Manager is another very important feature in built-in Windows. I'm sure we've all used many times in our careers and lives. Usually you right click on it and you pull up task manager this way and then you can get to it. But did you know there's a shortcut to access task manager? Let's pull up our on screen keyboard again. If we hit control shift and escape, that will bring up our task manager very quickly and easily. If I do this on my keyboard, you'll see. And boom you have your task manager and you're right there. So it's a quick, easy way to get to your task manager. Windows also has a built-in screenshot tool. If you hit Windows, Shift, and then S, you'll bring up our snipping tool and we can actually pull this up. Our snipping tool allows us to do a few different things. For one, we can draw what we want to record, such as a rectangle, window, full screen, or freedom to draw a line wherever we want, and that's what we capture that's in the highlighted area. Isn't that just beautiful? You can edit it and paint, save it, copy it, do whatever you need to do. The nice part about this is with Windows Shift S, it pops it up immediately, and it's already on the drag and drop for a, a square. So you could select a certain area of your window screen to grab and it gives you a little preview down here. If you click on it, it opens it up in the snipping tool where you can edit it, crop it, make any changes that you want to make to it, things like that, save it, etc. The other nice part about snipping tool is you can record your screen with it. So if we start recording, we can record a certain area of our screen and then hit start here. 
count down and now it's recording. So anything that we drag into this window, we'll just pop this terminal open and we'll do a, a deconfig for fun. And then we'll clear the contents and then we'll close a window and we'll stop this. Now we play our video that we just made. You'll see me opening the window and doing just what we just did. So this is a fantastic tool for creating things like documentation and how to's guides, or if you just want to record something to watch it later to remind yourself of. Our next hidden feature is called God mode. Now God mode is a feature built into windows. that gives you access to all of the administrative capabilities within windows. If you right click on your desktop and go to new and select folder and then type this long string in there, you'll suddenly get the folder icon change to this. If we open this icon up that's unnamed, you'll see that we have things like our BitLocker, color management, autoplay, all of our stuff here that we would get to in various ways through either settings or through the control panel, you have access to it all. Now that string that we put in here, I'll bring this up in notepad and don't worry, I'll put it down in the description below is just God mode dot and then this long string here to enable it. And now once we have this set, if we try and name it, you'll see it won't allow it to be named. <laughs> but just know this icon, wherever you wanna put it at, uh, gives you access to all these capabilities in one spot. So it makes it easy to find certain settings that you need to adjust on your Windows system in a single pane of glass to easily access and manage your computer. Another great feature built into Windows is the dictate. If we bring up our keyboard, if we hit the Windows button and H, that will bring up our dictate menu. So Windows and H, Microsoft Speech Services. Now I don't have a microphone hooked up to this virtual machine, so I can't demonstrate it. But if you do, you can click this here or you can select your microphone that you wanna use and it will start typing in here while you speak. So the nice part about this is, is you can literally dictate your emails, your Word documents, school assignments, whatever you're working on, and Windows will do the work for you instead of you having to type. Did you know that Windows also has a focus mode? If you notice down here, you'll see this little bell icon. That's a notification window. If we pop this up, you'll see your notifications are, are always listed here. And I don't know about you, but I usually have a bunch. This focus mode that you see down here, which is adjustable by this little settings here, can allow you to block all notifications for a time period. That means your computer leaves you alone so you can actually get your work done without getting distracted. Now, what it's doing right now, the first time you launch this, you're going to run into this and it's going to update the clock. The clock is your settings for the focus as well as other capabilities. We'll give this a second to update. And now we see our focus period has started and you can add breaks in here. You can show the time remaining or remove it so there's no pressure and it, it's nice to have this feature in built into windows now because there's times where you just don't want to be bugged by your coworkers or friends and you just need to get what you need done now we can edit these settings by going into clock and we could see what our focus sessions are could see how much progress and need to do items. We have Spotify on our computer. We actually list all this in here so you can have music playing while you're being focused on your task. The other features in this clock app is things like timers. You can edit any of these timers or you can add your own timer of how long you want. They just count down, they're adjustable or if you just don't want them, you can delete them too. You'd set up alarms for reminders 
a stopwatch, and even a world clock. The nice part about the world clock is you can have different time zones. So like, let's say New York. So you can add multiple time zones in here and know, okay, what time is it where? And you could see the time difference, which is the best part. So my local time here on the West Coast is 7.01 a.m. Yet on the East Coast, it's 10. There's a three hour difference. Another hidden feature that's on your computer, if we go to our settings app, first you have your focus session here where you can change your focus settings. You can actually remove it from the clock app here and things if you wanted to do that. And you can change the sessions. So this has some other further focus settings. But our other item that I wanted to discuss, our other feature, if we come here and we look at clipboard under system, you'll see that there's a clipboard history. I highly, highly recommend this be off, especially if you use a password manager. If you're using a password manager, those passwords are often copied to your clipboard. You want those forgotten immediately and overwritten every time. But if you're not, you can use this clipboard history to keep track of all of your clipboard data where you can have multiple items in here and go back and search what you copied and pasted prior. Our last feature we're gonna talk about, open up your store and search for Power Toys. Now, Microsoft Power Toys is a free app. It's been around since, I think about 2000. I didn't start using them until the XP days, but Power Toys has always been a cool app that you can add into your windows to give you more control and more flexibility in what you're doing. It comes with a suite of utilities, as you'll see here. Once Power Toys is installed, it'll launch. You can always relaunch it by just going to your Windows and start button, type in the word power and you'll see Power Toys pop up. But with this, you get a whole host, a suite of utilities here. The general kind of gives you a general overview, but you have things such as advanced paste where you can paste in things. It gives you a nice little preview here where you can paste in like code and things like that and it'll make sure that it looks the way you want it to be. You could select windows to always be on top of other windows, set when your computer's awake, a color picker. There's so many different things in here, host file editor, file explorer add-on such as a PDF viewer and things like that. If you've never played with Power Toys, give it a good look. This is a free app. It really gives you more control over your Windows system and allows you to do so much more with your computer and allow you to set things and tweak things that'll help you get work done or have more fun with your computer. So as you can see, Windows has a lot of hidden features. Matter of fact, there's more than the 10 that we covered today such as even Sandbox and Hyper-V. Those I can't demonstrate because this is a Hyper-V VM that I was showing these off on. We might do that in a future video, but I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.